Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make bar and pie graphs in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. We'll start off in Illustrator, and I'm going to come up here to Create New. Then we'll choose Print and Letter, and then we'll come over here to Create. And we're going to start off with a column graph chart. So I'm going to come over here to the Graph tool, and I'll just click it. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle on my canvas. When I do that, I'll get this little Excel sheet looking thing. And this is just a spreadsheet that you can enter your information for your column graph, and it will automatically make a column graph for you. So it's really great. Okay, so let's enter some values. I'm gonna hit 25 for the first one, 35, I'll click over here, maybe 40, and we'll do 18. Okay, and now once you're done entering your values, you can come over here and hit this check mark, and it just says apply. And now it's created a graph for us, and this is really nice because everything is exact. So these values are exactly where they should be instead of trying to line them up yourself. So now that we're done with this spreadsheet, we can just click on the red X up here and get rid of it. We can always bring this back later if we need it. And now we can make edits to the fill, the stroke, and the numbers of this graph. So I'm going to use my A tool, which is my direct selection tool, and just highlight all of these numbers over here. Um, I'm going to come up here under character, and I'll enter Montserrat. We'll choose regular. And as you can see, it's changed all of those to Montserrat. Um, I'm going to reduce the font a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And now maybe I'll move them all up a little bit. They're not quite lined up anymore because I made the font smaller. Now let's change some of the colors of the bars. I'll hit A to do this also. This is my direct selection tool. And I'll click right on that bar. Now, if you open your color window, and you can do this by going to Window and Color. Same with all the other palettes. You can get to these by going into the window and just choosing which ones you want to have open. So if I go over here to the color palette, there is no color here. That's because a lot of times when you make a new graph, it will put it in grayscale mode. So we have to get it out of grayscale to change the colors. So let's come over here to the flyout on the color panel, and we'll choose, instead of grayscale, we'll choose RGB. And now we have a lot of different colors to choose from. So I'm just going to make this one green. Then I'll click the next one. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to do that with all of these. So I'm going to, so what I just did is I held shift and I clicked each one then we'll come up here to color and change them all to RGB at the same time. Okay, so now I'll get on my second one and I'll change that color. And on the third and the fourth. Okay, so now we have all of our bars changed. There's a very thin black outline as you can see down here. So I'm gonna hit A to get my direct selection tool and just draw a box around all of those I'll hit X to get the stroke in front. You can toggle between fill and stroke, whichever one you want to change, by hitting X on your keyboard. And then I'll hit the backslash or question mark key to get rid of that. And now you can see there is no outline on these four bars. Um, you can also select these and change the width of the stroke here and that kind of thing. So that is really nice. Okay, so what if the boss comes over and says, oh, we need this one to be changed to 70. You can still change it, and that is what's really nice about the graph tool. So I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to get me to the direct, or to the regular selection tool. I'll click on it, and then I'll right click and go to data right here. That'll bring up my spreadsheet again, and then I'll just change that one to 70. Click the little check mark to apply. And now it has changed all of our numbers and it's changed the layout of our graph. So that is really, really nice about the graph tool. I'm gonna get rid of this. 
And the thing about the graph tool is you can't really customize this beyond this point. So to do that, I always make a copy of this graph. I'll option and click and drag one over to the side off of the artboard. So that way I'll always have the access to the data, the little spreadsheet that we just saw. But let's say I want to add a pattern to one of these or a pattern to all of them. If I wanted to do that, I could just click this and then ungroup. So we'll do shift command G. And when you do that, that's shift control G on a PC, by the way, when you do that, it'll tell you this little dialog box. This selection contains a graph and after it's ungrouped, you cannot access the graph style, the data or change the graph design. So it's basically kind of expanding it so you cannot use it, kind of like outlining your text. So we'll say yes. And now we can do whatever we want with each individual piece. Maybe I want the left sides to kind of angle in so I can just select those with my direct selection tool. I'm holding shift while I'm doing this. And then shift arrow to move those in to give them kind of a funky shape. So you can do a lot of different customizations. These are basically regular paths now, and they will never be linked again to that spreadsheet you saw earlier. But if your boss comes and tells you to change the 70 back to 40 or whatever, you can still use this one, which is kind of a starting point. You would still have to do the same thing and make all the changes again. All right, let's go on to a pie graph. Now I'm going to click back on my column graph tool and change it to a pie graph. And I'll hold shift and just draw a big box here. And we get the same spreadsheet and we can enter numbers. Of course, you'll want these to equal up to 100% because pie graphs are based on percentages of 100. So we'll do 25, 35, 20, and 20. And then we'll say, okay, apply it. And so it's given us this graph and we'll go through all the same process as before. So we can select this and now we can come over here, change our color to RGB and then click on individual pieces and color them. Let me try that again. Okay. It will make them white with a black outline. If you create the R if you make them RGB. Okay, so let's just get some different colors in here. And now we have the same thing. We can work with this or we can just make modifications. So I'm going to click and drag this off to the side and then I'm going to hit L on my keyboard and draw a circle holding shift and option or alt on a PC right from the middle. I'm going to make that white. And since this is a graph, I cannot actually cut this out. If I wanted um, something to show behind it, I could not cut that out because it still has its graph attributes. So we'll want to ungroup this with shift command G or shift control G on a PC. We'll say yes. And now if we select everything, come over to Pathfinder and then divide this we can just delete those pieces in there. And then if something comes behind, it will actually show through as you can see, but we wouldn't be able to do that with this graph. So if you need to make modifications, you will need to kind of expand or ungroup your graph. So graphs are a really nice feature that are built right into Adobe Illustrator. It makes our lives much easier. If you liked this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. Thank you.